hey yeah i wasn't uh wasn't here last sunday but thought i'd throw a little short video out today camping in northern michigan got the gazelle out i don't know if i've really shown my gazelle uh, throw the chair and the little table in there got a little radio going keep you out of the mosquitoes you know, there's a lot of bugs. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up. I thought they were all mosquitoes, but I think they're midges because they're not biting. So we're camping. I'm camping at what is probably my favorite campsite in all of Michigan. Maybe anywhere. Love it here. Free camping. I don't know. There's seven or eight sites strung out along this little two track actually my very favorite one's the next one down but it's being occupied someone just pulled a little camper into the site and uh left it there memorial day weekend is well today's tuesday memorial day weekend's coming up so they're getting ready for the big three-day bash and uh hopefully uh, I'll probably be out of here by then. Don't like the crowds. If you haven't figured that out by now. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite spot. I know, it don't look like much. Until you look out the van window. And you see this. That's a lake. That, that's a great lake. Actually, it's a bay on Lake Huron. And if you look close, you won't see a house or a dock or even a light at night. Out there is the actual Lake Huron. That's the mouth of the bay. That's because we, or this is a nature preserve. A bunch of free camping on the nature preserve. I wasn't sure if I was going to share the location of this place. I will. Because, like I said, it's my favorite place. But uh, this is called Search Bay. It's about 45 minutes east of the Mackinac Bridge. Just before you get to Hessel. Yeah, how's that for a uh, view out the van window, huh? Yeah, so I am at Search Bay, today's Tuesday, and uh, Memorial Day weekend is coming up. Probably get out of here Friday, may head home. I got some things I want to do downstate, some friends I want to hang out with. Mm, excuse me. So... Yeah, I've been taking care of a bunch of uh, personal stuff. I think I mentioned last time I'm selling my house, so that's taking up a bunch of my time. And uh, i got to keep local and be in the area signing papers and all that. So hopefully by mid-June, I will be more or less on the road full-time in my van here. Um, probably going to hang around the Great Lakes most of the summer. Uh, this fall, do some hunting up in the UP. And uh, head back down towards Arizona this winter. That's that's the plan, anyways. We'll see see how that shakes out. You know how plans are. Try not to have any. But so, yeah, Search Bay in uh, Michigan's Upper Peninsula. One of my favorite places, uh, if not my favorite campground. I don't know if you can call this a campground. It's uh free camping and uh yeah what a place huh i should pop up the drone give you an aerial shot
taking a little bit of a walk out on the shoreline. We're about two miles uh, west of where I'm camping, just still in the nature preserve. Thought I'd get out and do, oh, look at this, deer track out on the beach. Thought I'd take a little walk here before it uh, gets overrun. by the Memorial Day crowds. They'll probably start showing up tomorrow. Today's Wednesday. Yeah, Thursday it's gonna probably start picking up and by Friday. You now by Friday I'm gonna be getting out of here. I'm camped. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell but that's a uh, point right there. I'm camped around the other side of that point. Yeah. That's Lake Huron. Search Bay. Get back into here, into the woods, out of the wind. Oh, picked a real good spot here. It's all overgrown. Ugh. I didn't used to grunt when I did stuff. But can you see the bugs? They're uh, they're midges. They they're not mosquitoes. They're not biting. I was walking down through here on the way in a couple minutes ago and uh, I kicked up a bald eagle. Walked right up underneath him. I wasn't filming at the time, but uh, he was a big mature baldy. It's pretty cool. I haven't walked out here on the point in a couple years. But when I came out here a few years ago, there was an old, there were ruins of an old abandoned house or lodge or something back in here. There's really no paths to speak of. But I'm out on a point, you really can't get lost. Though, uh, that's kind of remind me of bear country. Oh, I thought those ruins were right around here somewhere. Yeah, I'd say there's, as I walked out here, I was counting camping locations. Well, I, I kind of came the wrong direction. And I counted about five or six good spots. I kind of walked into a corner here, right on the water. I'm getting too far to the west. No, five or six good spots on the water. Another three or four that are subpar on the water and a good four or five spots that are not on the water, flat areas that you could get in. Maybe I'll uh, run the camera as I drive out of here in a day or so. You can get some pretty good sized rigs in here, especially if you're not squeamish driving. I saw a couple big fifth wheels tucked into some spots that I wouldn't try. There are no services, no garbage. 
picnic tables, no water. No fire rings. Uh, a whole bunch of little, uh, oh yeah, here, here it is. I walked right around it. A bunch of uh, stone fire rings that people's made. Yeah, there's a, all that's left is this really nice stone chimney. Somebody put some work into that. Yeah, they did a nice job. Not really seeing a foundation or anything though. The bricks, as I say, Strasberry must be a local bricklayer brick company yeah but i'm not no real foundations that i can see not even like humps where one would be i wonder if that was just a oh hey what's this <laughs> i know what this is that is a geocache Look at that. Uh, no. Eh, maybe it's a geocache. I'm seeing a lot of a lot of garbage in there. I do not do geocaching. But I've seen it. I've seen people doing it. Thought it might be interesting, but I've never done it. I put money, that's what that is. I saw a pencil in there with a notepad. Yeah. Pretty out here. All right, back to the van. This is just a little... Need to get out and stretch my leg. A little four-mile walk. Two miles out, two miles back, probably. On the water. We are uh, getting out of here at Search Bay. We are at the end of the east um, road. And you can see that it is a pretty small little turnaround. You're not really going to turn a trailer around in here. Probably get a van turned around in here. Unless you've got a Jeep with maybe a little tab trailer. This is just a little... T section turnaround right here. But I wanted to show you what it looks like coming out of here. There is a, you know, on the left right here next to the water, is a one little tent camping area. I would not take this here because everybody comes down here and turns around. Another little tent spot here on the left. You can get a car down here, you can get a truck down here, you can get a low top, eh, well I'm in a high top van, <clears throat> but it's tight. This is my favorite spot here on the left. Somebody's parked a uh, little pop up here. Probably popped it last weekend. <laughs> and uh, cause today is Friday for the Memorial Day weekend. Everybody's reserving spots by putting tents and campers for this weekend. The 
food's not too bad. Just gotta go real slow. There's one or two bad spots up here. That's one of the main reasons I wanted to um, show you the driving out. This is where I've been for the last five days here on the left. There's been no one back behind me, just that one pop-up back there. Get one or two cars down here a, uh, a day, just looking around. I actually saw a fire truck, uh, like a rescue fire truck. I think he was just checking things out or yesterday came down. He's probably just wasting time at work. There's a guy here, just pulled in about 15 minutes ago. Looks like he's getting ready to camp. This may be the same guy that was here um, there was a guy parked here camping in a tent um, the first night I was here, then he left. Looks like the same car. No, that's not the same guy, though. Not real friendly. Won't wave at me. I tried twice. There's a little point off to the left that goes out into the lake. If you had like a little Jeep or a little truck, you could park here in this little mud puddle here on the left and uh, walk back to some really pretty um, camping spots right on the water, really pretty. I could probably park here on the left too. They're not designated camping spots. They're just like the only place you can pull off. There's one spot up here that does have a, a DNR stake that says no camping because they're trying to uh, restore the area. Well, there's a little scraper. Everything is hard bottom, even when it's wet. This is probably one of the worst holes right here. Yeah, this is the spot here on the left that's got a little stake, a little sign that says no camping. I think they're trying to preserve that little area of wetlands. There's like this whole area, there's, there's no camping. Oh, there's no spot to camp. It's all, all these pines. This is gonna definitely scrape. Uh, uh. If I would have known that, I would have come back here and snipped those a couple days ago. Forgot about that one. Well, it's been a good. I don't know. What have been here? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. For, been here four days, five, four nights. Being like I said, Friday the three-day weekend. I don't want to be here. Probably wouldn't be too bad, but I got um, plans with some friends I want to do this weekend. And we come down here to the uh, entrance more or less, and uh, that's where you can get the bigger rigs in. There's a possible tent spot right there on the left, and then you can see someone's wedged a fifth wheel in here, and that is about, that's a big fifth wheel. I, I don't know if I could have got that fifth wheel in there. 
because he's really wedged in. Boy, he's only about three inches off a tree, too. But anything that's a pretty good sized trailer, you're not going to get past this fifth wheel. I've camped at that spot a bunch of times. But during the weekdays, very few people, you get people come in and leave a couple times a day. You, you, you'll see, you know, somebody come in, but very low pressure during the weekday. Um, Midsummer, you'll get some people. I think there is a um, canoe group for like, um, I've seen them, like a canoe company bring in kids. Um, I, I actually saw the logo on one of the side of their trucks and I think it's for um, at-risk youth. They bring them up here and they'll do a tent camp. And you'll see them, I've seen them a bunch of times during the week, during the summer. Um, good kids, I mean, they're quiet-ish. Now, off to the left, this is the main entrance. This is where it splits. I'm coming down the main road. You saw there's, you know, four or five campsites. If I went straight, um, there's one really nice campsite down there and then two more at the very end for tent sites down this two track straight ahead. And right on the left is uh, like a little boat launch area. And then on the trip in right here is some overflow area. You see again, they've just, uh, occupied that site and another one here there's one right there it's got on the my extreme left is two fifth wheels and a tent and uh, that car just showed up today and to get all the way back to the uh that one real nice campsite is this little road here on the left it just goes down there and dead ends and uh like i said there's one or two field spots like the ones we just passed a really nice campsite on the water and two more tent sites that you probably need a truck or a jeep to get to and that's uh that's search bay it's a, a mile and a half down this uh pretty decent little gravel road um out to uh out to the main paved road it's about a mile and a half there's one more over spot overflow spot that i have used there's like a little pond up here about halfway down this road and uh i've stayed there i don't like it <laughs> but if if you're in the area and you don't want to drive anymore and you've already made it down here and everything's full i've i've stayed there i just kind of pulled off alongside the pond spent the night hope somebody left and, or uh, move on to somewhere else because there's a lot of state forest around this area. Okay, I'm heading home and uh, well, what's left of my home, it's completely empty. There's no furniture or anything left in it. I'm hopefully gonna sign in the next week and a half or so, uh, gonna close and be out of it. And then we'll be uh, touring. So. Hopefully, hey, and uh, I did get this uh, new camera set up that I've been trying for. I've been waiting, I've been looking for this little suction mount for my phone, for my, uh, that I can put on the windshield for my phone to get this uh, camera shot. And, uh, yeah, this one to turn out decent. So just a little slow, I don't know, what am I doing, five miles an hour? Because it's pretty bumpy and I'm not in a hurry. Um, out to the main road, so... Hopefully I'll see you uh, next Sunday. It may be every other Sunday um, for the next week or so because I'm pretty busy. But I'm going to try to do just Sundays all, sun, all summer long unless I get something really interesting. And then um, this fall, do a little hunting up in the western UP and this winter back down towards Arizona. So until next time from northern Michigan, see you on down the road.